Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Crank and Boom. These are from their non-dairy line. This is the Chocolate Fudge Ripple. And I have the Coconut Caramel Delight. These were $12 a pint. We bought them directly from uh, where they manufacture, where like they make it. Shop. Yeah, <laughs> where they, their, their home office yeah. is where we bought it. So they were $12 a piece. If you go to Whole Foods, you can get Crank and Boom cheaper. But, locally at least. Uh, yeah, locally. But it is, uh, you can't get all the special flavors at Whole Foods that They're you can get. Uh, so they are cheaper, but you're, you know, you have to go to the special. They have two uh, locations in if you're in Lexington, Kentucky, they have two different locations, and we've been to both. It yeah. just depends on what area, right. what side of town. I prefer one over the other, but I do too because it's easier. Mm -hmm. The parking's easier. Yeah. There's one that's a nightmare, it is. It's and that's the where it's, spot. it's where they make it. It's on yeah. it's on Manchester Street, and there's just no parking. Yeah, there's and no parking. It's very busy. Yes, yeah, so and you can also get these on Gold Belly. So yeah, you can. The last time we went, I dropped Kevin off. And I, and I circled because uh, there's just no parking. Yeah. So you, you do what you have to do. They, they should have known that it was going to be that popular because there's tons of stuff over there people want to visit. Yes, and there's a lot of restaurants. Restaurants and, stuff. and bars yeah. and all kinds of stuff. So, and, yeah, it's, it's hard to get in. Uh, but this is the Chocolate Fudge Ripple, and there's no description on here at all. Mm -hmm. So I just have to go by what the ingredients are on the back. I don't have calories for you. What's their non-dairy part? What are they? It's They're both, the first ingredient is coconut cream. So that's cream. what they're doing is coconut. Yes. So the first ingredient is coconut cream. But this also has unsweetened cocoa powder. Um, unsweet, uh, let's see, uh, sugar, coffee, it has coffee, uh, chocolate bomb sauce, which has 70% dark chocolate, oh, it's wow. unsweetened chocolate, um, and then it has some other stuff in it, but so mainly it's going to be coconut and dark chocolate and coffee okay. is what I'm thinking. I always like to know kind of what the base is to just kind of get an idea. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a dark chocolate. It is, it's like. It's like laying on top. Yeah. A little uh, crust on top. Yeah. Kind of like that magic shell stuff you used to buy when you were a kid. Yeah. They still make that? I'm sure. I, I'm sure they. I don't mm -hmm. know. Do you put it on your ice cream and get the hard shell? Like the, the magic shell brand? Yeah. I don't I don't know. Know. Oh, that's a dark. It looks like mud. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try a part without the shell. But then yeah. I'm definitely going to get the shell after. I love the texture. Very Ooh. smooth. You know what that tastes just like? It tastes just like one of those really uber sweet, ultra sweet coconut candies that you get um, in the flat. Oh, yeah. I can say, of course, they don't have chocolate, but. Oh, uh, but I mean, it doesn't, it, it, it tastes like that coconut. It's so sweet. Hmm. I, I didn't get the shell. I'm going to get the shell now. Well, there's layers. So they they filled it halfway full. They put a layer of chocolate in there, and then they filled it the other half. Mm. So there's a hard little crunchy shell halfway down too. And that's good. So you're not just getting once you get it on the top, it's gone. It's, it's actually down. And I bet you they put it on the bottom too, because they're really good about putting it on the bottom. I don't know if they would for this because it's hard. They're good about usually they start with some a layer at the bottom. No. I'm glad they're putting it in the middle though. That's how I make my stuffed peppers. They you did. want a layer of cheese right in the middle. No. That hard shell would have been at the bottom because it'd been hard to break it up and get it out. Mm. I tell you what, I really do like that. I, I expected not to like it, or just to be honest with you, because I thought it would be too dark. It's not. It, well, I mean, it, it is a darker chocolate, but it's not too dark. It, it actually tastes like a fudgy chocolate. It, does it taste like that? The, what I said at all to you? Because that's um, the first thing that came to the mind. Coconut, it, the coconut's pretty strong. I mean, for sure. You definitely know it's coconut, and they don't even mention coconut, so just let you know. No, oh, no. Not on this one. It's chocolate fudge ripple. Right. Yeah. So, so you get chocolate. It's a very good chocolate, but you do get the underlying coconut as well. So, it is a coconut chocolate. If you took one of those little coconut bars you were talking about, the mm -hmm. the brown, white, and pink, or something like yeah. that, and dipped it in chocolate, mm -hmm. then that would be the flavor. It and it's just as creamy as it's very creamy nice. can be. Um, I, Especially being non-dairy, they did an excellent job. Oh, I think yes. 
Um, I uh, could have it even without that shell. The shell is not necessary. No, but that, it does add a little bit of texture to it. It so does. I don't, like, I don't mind it at all. It does, but I uh, just enjoy truly That's just, just the eating the ice cream part itself. That's the extra part. It's rich. It feels. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really rich tasting and very, very creamy. Yeah. Of course, if you're doing non-dairy, you're probably used to getting that coconut flavor and everything. I don't think I've had non-dairy that I've enjoyed like yeah. that much. But I'm just saying, it, it does have coconut in it. But if 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 you're non-dairy, you probably have gotten used to that. So it's, it's not something you're going to be surprised by. But right. if you don't like coconut, you're you're probably not going to like that. Because you do taste the coconut. You need to like coconut, yes. Yeah. But that's that's one. It's very terrific. good. Very nice chocolate. So this one's called Coconut Caramel Delight. They're letting so you they're know. So they're embracing the coconut. Yeah. Uh, coconut Caramel Delight. It, and this is a frozen dessert. And both of these are. Um, so they're not ice cream. It's frozen dessert. But uh, coconut cream. Um, it has salted caramel sauce. Um, it has that same chocolate bomb sauce that the other one right. had, 70% dark chocolate. Um, I'm just trying to pull some things. I wish I had a description. It has honey, it has corn syrup, it looks like a lot of sweetness. This one sounds like uh, the Girl Scout cookie. Yes, yes. That's what, when I saw the Samoas. name. Isn't yeah, that what when, I, when I saw the names, I don't know if they call them that anymore or not. I don't know. I, they change their names so much, I can't keep track of them. Look at that. Is that graham cracker? It's got a, some kind of cookie crumble on top. Well, I'll tell you what, there's so much on here. Uh, it looks like, a, it looks just glancing, it looks more like it would be a s'mores because you, it looks like graham cracker and it looks like chocolate, chocolate. and then the white stuff looks like marshmallow. Yeah. Wouldn't you have thought that was yeah, more. Except for the caramel. I know. The caramel kind of runs the s'more look, but. Exactly. Yeah, the powder's going right out of there. I think that's just the 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 uh, the coconut, uh, the oh, ice cream, okay. the dairy part. But oh, I tell well, you, I'm wondering if the little brown pieces aren't coconut. That? Oh, I don't know. No, it's like um, it's like graham. Kind of. One thing I do notice right away though is they got that layer of stuff, but if you look underneath of it, it's just white. Do you see that? It's just ice cream. Yes, so but I bet it, no. Half there's white. a layer, I'm half saying that between the two layers though, mm -hmm. it's just ice cream. So you have to make sure you get some of that caramel and stuff from the top going down through there. It's not swirled through. And I do have to say, We've had crank about a half, it's about a half and half thing. Half of them have it swirled through and half of them don't. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's strange. That's definitely tastes like a little bit of graham to me. Mm hmm. It tastes like coconut and graham. I like the ice cream, but it's, it's, a, it's just pure coconut ice cream. It's really hard though. I like this one, but the, my only, and I've had this complaint about theirs before, unless you're getting the stuff on the top mixed with the ice cream, the really thick layer of ice cream, mm -hmm. you're not getting anything but the ice cream flavor, which is pure, just coconut. Then you're not getting the caramel delight part. No. I'll tell you they, what though. It's really good. But they needed to swirl. They needed to at least swirl the caramel in there. Mm -hmm. I love mm. how because I was wondering how it would work. I'm not used to opening ice cream and <laughs> having that those loose graham pieces on top. So I wondered how that was going to work. Uh, so I scooped it out and put it in here, and of course all that loose graham falls to the bottom. But it ends up working perfectly because your that frozen dessert immediately starts to melt, mm -hmm. and all those little graham pieces get in that um, melted that coconut, and it uh, you get that graham in every bite. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it in every single bite. I'm getting some of that graham, right. and I really do love that texture. Well, that. I like it, but my, I, I wouldn't buy it again only because, I mean, look at that. 
Once your See, cup is done, where he's eating it out of the container. Yeah, you're not. Ex I'm and normally you would. Different. Normally, if we weren't doing this review, I would eat it out of, out of the container too. You're not getting the same experience out of the container that I'm getting in this bowl because my that all those, like I said, the 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 coconut ice cream is melted into all those little pieces of gram. Whereas his is just laying on top here. Yeah. So, he, so if you were to make a bowl of this mm -hmm. and you scooped out all the topping, mm -hmm. then you're left with a bunch of coconut it's that all has coconut. nothing mm -hmm. until you get to the middle layer, which is another layer of that chocolate. But I just don't, I don't know why they just don't mix it in. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I understand the chocolate not mixing it in, but why not the calm one? I don't know. I really do like this flavor though. <laughs> um, I like all the components of it. It honestly, it doesn't have as much caramel as I thought it would have, mm -hmm. and that's not the main flavor. The main flavor is coconut. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And no, it's unless not, you're getting a hunk of that chocolate, then you really taste the chocolate. It, to me, this is not as sweet as the chocolate fudge ripple. I thought the chocolate. Yeah, it's I thought the chocolate fudge ripple was sweeter. It because it really did remind me of one of those coconut candies mm -hmm. I was talking about. Um, but. I, I really do like this. I like it. I like it fine. But like I said, my you biggest just complaint there is was it, 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 it needs it more. In. It just yeah. needs more. Cause yeah. like, well, like I said, once the top's gone, you're left with a big old hunk of just coconut, basically. Right. Which is good. It's just not the flavor that I want. You know? Right. I wonder if Gold Belly, you would think that Gold Belly, um, which basically is a service that that will ship ice cream to your front door. They do other things too, but ice cream's one of them. I, I would think that they would have to provide for people who need non-dairy as well as regular. They have some non-dairy. Okay, so I wondered. I wonder what offerings they have from Crang and Boom. I, I know that there's at least. I know there's a couple. I don't know how many, but okay. Because I look through. Because Crang and Boom, you can pick your flavors. If you pick a pack or whatever, that's um, nice. You can pick what flavors you want. So you can you could choose all non-dairy if you wanted to, but you'd have to repeat flavors. Right. Well, I would definitely get that. that the chocolate's the best one. The, cho the chocolate fudge ripple, yeah. I would absolutely get that again and because you're is. getting that same flavor right. no matter what throughout the entire yeah. thing. Then you just get the bonus crunchy chocolate in there, which doesn't make a difference much to flavor, but it's right. a nice texture difference. This, Whereas this really does make a flavor difference. Yeah, it's changing flavors throughout because if you don't have any more on the top, then and, until you get to that middle section, you're not getting those flavors again. So I do understand what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. So I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.